In this very quick tutorial, I'm going to cover the key bindings functionality within Xlights. Now, there's nothing mystical about the key bindings. All it is is keyboard shortcuts. So it will allow you to do things rather than using your mouse. You know, for instance, like you want to put a, put a butterfly effect onto the timeline. I can drag with the mouse, but you can also do it with a keyboard shortcut instead. So let's have a look at the key bindings and we find this under the file menu key binding. Now, even if you've never touched key bindings before, you'll find that some are already predefined and you can see some of them here like zoom in, zoom out and timing add. Yeah. So if we want to add a timing mark, you can see there it's T and you're probably already aware of that one. And if we do that, T you can see we can create timing marks and that's basically a keyboard shortcut and this is the T one is one that you use a lot during sequencing and building of timing tracks but how do we create our own so imagine I have got a butterfly effect okay that's the traditional butterfly effect that you know and love but imagine I have got special preferences that I always use all the time I don't say I tend to do a fade in and a fade out on my butterfly effect so I can do that I can put uh, say a one second fade in let's make it bigger and a, uh, a one second fade out and now let's do some changes let's say the butterfly effect style I like is this one and then once we've got this we can now right click on here and select copy so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up Notepad now so we can have a look at by pasting in here. This is what an effect looks like when you cut it in X lights and paste it. And you can see it's telling me the effect name butterfly. And then here are all the settings. And if you look here, you can see that that fade in and fade out setting there that was set and all the other settings. Now, we're only interested in the part after the butterfly. So I'm going to select all of it and select copy. And now, rather than me having to create this every time, I'm going to create a key binding that will do all this for me just with one key press. So I go to key bindings and I'm going to add an effect. It was a butterfly effect, so I'm going to select butterfly. And I'm going to paste that part that I just cut into here. Now I need to specify what keyboard sequence will actify this. So I'm going to use the O key and with control. So control O. So I'll close. Now if I go to anywhere on my timeline and I press control O, you can see I have created the butterfly effect that I specified with a fade in and fade out. And you can see it's nice and easy to just keep generating those as we go. Okay, so that is doing effects. But we can take it one step further. Imagine we don't want to create a full effect, but we just want to apply a setting to an effect. So what you can do is, if we look here, I'll remove this fade in and fade out for now. I'll make that zero. Zero. Now, fade in and fade out is something you do quite regularly, you know, and you, you know, it involves, as you saw there, me going here, specifying a time. But what about if we could do a keyboard shortcut for that? And we can. What we do is, if we look in key bindings, fade in and fade out is actually already there, but imagine it was, was not there. How would we actually find out a particular setting that we wanted to do? Well, quite straightforward. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add the fade in effect on here. And again, I'm going to copy that. This and I'll paste. And what we do now, we look along this text to see if we can find the syntax for fade in. And there you can clearly see that. So I'm just going to select this T text control 
underscore fading equals one and select copy. I go back to X lights and now I can go to key bindings and rather than adding an effect this time, I'm going to want call, do one called add apply setting and I'll click this and you can see it's created this. I'll open this up and here we can see the dialog box. So we need to specify a key again. I'll select O again, but uh, with a different, with the Alt key instead. So Alt O, and now I'm going to paste that element in there. So text control, but this time I'll make it, I'll, I'll change it manually. I'll make it 0 0.5. So that's a half second fade in. So Alt O, so if I go close, now if I drop a couple of effects on here, so we can see, okay, none of these have a fade in, but if I click on them and just press Alt O, you can see quickly I can add the fade in effect. And this will apply to any effect that you want to apply. So it's really powerful.